Yo, what's going on guys? Havoc here and I'm back. Today, we're going to be talking about 25 things we've all done in Clash of Clans. There's a lot of stupid things we all do in this game, and sometimes it's great to hear you're not the only one. And so, this is what this series is all about. Now, this is part 4 of the series. If you want to watch the other episodes, which I highly recommend, links will be down below and it'll also be at the end of the video. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. There's nothing more boring than hitting necks in the clouds for what feels like forever, but but have you ever found a base with some insane loot and then you have to fix how you're sitting as if shit just got serious? Whew, man, all right, playtime's over. This is gonna require some serious attention. Check the shop in case there's something you never built. <laughs> yeah, like there's gonna be anything new after months of being at the same town hall, but I gotta check, you just never know. I might have forgot to build my telehome. <laughs> Cast your phone to your TV so you can see your base bigger. <laughs> Come on, you have had to do this at least once. Somewhere, whatever device. I don't know, it's kind of fascinating. Never seen my base on a big screen TV, you know? It's just something dumb that I think a lot of us have done before. Try and slide on a certain page as far as you can <laughs> to see if you can spot some hidden details. Huh, I wonder what's down here. Oh, it just keeps going. Holy sh! more clouds? Is this an easter egg? Took a screenshot of the clown house decor cause it's small as sh and I can't see, god damn. Got me out here looking like my damn grandma. No offense grandma. Kiss me. The only way I can see it is if I take a picture and zoom in on it. Am I the only one? I would imagine this is worse on a smaller phone. Look how small as sh is on my wife's phone. It's like flipping through a furniture catalog for ants. They need to give us some kind of preview so we can see it a little bigger. Mute the sound effects and turn up the music so you can hear the scenery. Look, some sceneries just have very good music. After years of hearing this, it got really repetitive. I had to mute it. I felt like I was going insane. But finally, there's other options for good music and sometimes, I just want to listen. My favorites have to be the pixel scenery and the 10th anniversary one. Check some clan mates or a random player's stats. I don't think it's about being bored, I just think there's some interesting things you can learn about a player by looking at their profile and I believe that's by design. Back in the day I remember your goal grab was like this huge thing that everybody judged you based off like it was a f***ing credit score. It was really stupid, I don't see people doing that nowadays, luckily, but yeah, good times. Play the practice modes to learn a new army and after you got the resources, you forgot all about that damn army. <laughs> Oh, that's how you do it. You just... <sighs> yeah. Anyways, where's that loot I was promised? Activate a training boost and completely forget and then let it go to waste. <laughs> this happens way too often for me. I, it pisses me off so much. Like, god damn, how did I forget? Again! I think this has happened to all of us at least once. You go back to the default scenery every now and then. Okay, this is assuming you have a different scenery in the first place, but does anyone go back to the default one just to see how it looks? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you kind of forget what it's like and it always catches me off guard. Why is it so green and empty? Change the game's language to see what different buildings and troops are called in another language. <laughs> I used to do this years ago when I was bored. The real question is, what haven't I done in this game? But exploring Clash of Clans in a different language can be pretty funny sometimes. Like when you discover co-leaders are ass leaders in Norsk. Hey, when I call you an ass, I'm not lying, I'm just speaking in Norsk, you know what I mean? There's some pretty funny translations. I think we've all done this at one point. Try to one troop of each attack. <laughs> ah yes, a classic. It's one of the first Clash videos I ever uploaded. Hey guys, it is Havoc Gaming. I'll be showing you my one of every troop raid. But who wasn't trying this back then? Turns out it's a really bad strategy you would have thought. But come on, you've at least tried it once, right? Turned off the higher frame rate setting to see if you can actually see the difference. <laughs> it's all bogus. Your eyes can't process more than 60 frames per second. I saw it on Facebook. Watch this. Hey yo, what the f 
accidentally removed a special obstacle. You would think that because you have to tap two things to remove the damn thing, it'd be really hard to accidentally do it, right? But you'd be surprised the dumbest ways it's happened. For example, just the other day, I was trying to take a screenshot of removing a particular obstacle. My dumbass forgot I had a builder boost, and before I could even think of pressing cancel, the damn thing was gone. I lost my damn fireworks, and I didn't get the <laughs> screenshot. What a sad and depressing day. Randomly check who's available to revenge, like, how dare they touch my base? What are we playing, Clash of Clans or something? I'd be tapping on the revenge button like it's Russian roulette. If it loads in your base, I'ma whoop your ass. Unless it's a tunnel 15. Or 14. <laughs> then in that case, I'm a two star your mom. Started a mini account and never got back into it. Yeah, I have like way too many mini accounts and I only care about two of them. But there's something about creating a new account that feels very nice. I don't know, it's probably the tutorial, right? It feels very nostalgic, probably because nothing has changed in the tutorial except for the villager. She, she glowed up. But yeah, even if you have zero plans of returning, I think creating a new account is kind of refreshing and fun. Scroll up in the chat to see what you missed. God damn, what the f did I miss? Jesus, guys. What are you guys having fun without me? Like, what the? I can't be the only one trying to catch up after I've been off for a while. When I see those red numbers and they're at the max, I know some sh been going on in the chat. And I gotta see. I don't know, I just get curious. You probably play like this when your phone is charging. This probably comes down to personal preference, but I haven't seen many people do it with the cord on the left. It feels weird and I can't be the only one. Randomly tap on old obstacles. I don't know, sometimes I forget what they sound like. Other times, I just want to hear it again. By the way, a cool useless fact, did you know that the Dragon Trophy sound overlaps so if you tap on it a lot, it sounds crazy? Tried the Mountain Golem once and failed. <laughs> I've seen so many failed attacks with the damn Mountain Golem, myself included. I don't know what it is, it's probably its speed, it catches everyone off guard and their attack goes south. Seems like a high risk, high reward troop, you know, you gotta learn how to use it. Yeah, maybe it's not the best troop for me. Look at your base defenses, even if you don't care. I'd like to believe some players out there look at their replays to see if there's any flaws in their base or something they can improve on, but me? Nah, I don't really care about that. Once I set my base, I walk away and change it when the next tell hall. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just lazy. But really, I just watch replays because I'm curious. Every now and then I want to see my base in action, make sure my cannons are working or some sh**. Tap camps to see how the troops react. This is straight out of a 2013 Facts You Didn't Know video. <laughs> yeah, different troops have different reactions when you tap on the camps, and sometimes I forget or have never seen what a particular troop does when I tap on it. So every once in a while, I'll do it again. I don't know if it's stupid, but if you haven't done this at one point, are we playing the same game? Scroll to the bottom of the attack or defense log to see what's the oldest one. Sometimes I have months where I just don't get to play as much as others, so there can be times where I only attack once or twice a week, and for some reason, scrolling down to see the oldest attack is something I always do. Feels like I'm f***ing time traveling or something. I once didn't play for so long, the damn thing was empty. <laughs> like, there was nothing there, it was crazy. If you've been playing for years, you probably bought all of these decor items years ago. Maybe this doesn't apply to everyone because I'm referring to a specific thing. Back then, these were all of the decor options you had and a lot of people bought them as a flex. Supercell didn't start adding more decor until 2016. So I know a lot and a lot of OGs that have these decor items because that's all they could buy. Thank God for other statues though because it was starting to get a little boring seeing the same two statues and the damn flag. But they do look cool. Let me know if you can relate though. I know this one's kind of 
more specific than others. You probably still have some obstacles in the builder base because you don't know what the hell will be rare one day. Listen, I'm not taking any chances, <laughs> nah. -uh. I'm not about to remove all this shit and then 25 years later in a rarest obstacles video, it's gonna pop up. Hell nah. If I knew rocks didn't respawn in the home village, I would have never removed them. Like, the f they're rare now and I don't have any. So guys, that should be it for this video. Let me know how many things in this video you have done. You'd be surprised how many stupid things we all do. And if you didn't see any that you do, feel free to comment them down below for a future video maybe. Speaking of episodes though, on the left here is the entire playlist. If you enjoyed today's video, I highly recommend the previous episodes in there. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.